What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. And I'm starting the vlog off with my nails because it's time to do my nails. I'm transitioning into autumn, so I decided to do some bright neony reddish type of nails. And here I'm just showing you all of the products. Make sure that you pause the video and just screenshot anything that you want. Also check, check, <laughs> check, check the description box because I'm trying to link as much as possible down there. And if I didn't link it down there, I'm also trying to put it in my Amazon storefront. So make sure you check the links in there as well. For this category, it will be under nails or nail care. I can't remember what I have it called, but anyways, as usual, I'm just applying a thin layer of acrylic and I'm actually trying out some new nails. I saw this brand on TikTok. Listen, TikTok is dangerous, okay? I didn't know TikTok was like this. Like, why are you like this? TikTok is very influential and very dangerous, okay? Saw this brand on TikTok and I decided to try out her nails. Really, really cute nails. I love the nude color. I love the almond nails. The nails that I have on are not her nails so anyways yeah for my toes they don't need any acrylic because these nails are actually really really thick and my toes are my toenails are actually really strong and thick so I find that and also I sh kind of file it all the way down I don't have any free edge hanging over so I find that a light acrylic layer is not really needed for the toes and the toe stays perfect like it's the nails like why is it that the feet always stay perfect like what is that all about anyways I'm applying my base coat and then I'm gonna go in with two layers of my nude coat this is from Kiara Sky it is called the perfect nude and it really is the perfect nude I use it for all of my French tip type of nails it is so so pretty so opaque this I got from Aliexpress years ago but it is a true orangey reddish neon type of color really really beautiful and because we're going into autumn I decided to get the oranges out like it's time to pull out the deeper colors but I'm just not ready for that darkness yet so I'm going for something orangey and pretty <laughs> I'm doing a French tip with a half moon style anyways the video is very uh, self-explanatory and I decided to throw this in there because you guys always ask for nail videos so I'm always going to share with you whenever I do my nails or whenever I can as much as possible okay just enjoy the rest of the video and I love you guys for you know really supporting the vlogs I'm glad that you guys really like them because I'm so nervous <laughs> it's such a new avenue but anyways enjoy the rest of the video and I will talk to you really soon
workout today and I hope you guys can hear me. I'm not taking off the mask because <laughs> apparently you can catch Corona more than once. Okay, girl. So I just came out here to do a little procedure. I'll talk about that later. Nothing serious. And now we're just gonna walk around and try and find some lunch. It's also rainy today, so I'm gonna see how much you know footage I can get with the camera. If not, I'm just gonna switch off to my phone because rain camera no bueno okay but yeah we're in the city and we're having a good time right now we're just at the train station we actually took the train today because it's just easy access it's really really easy to get into Nagoya by train it's like 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and it's really relaxing so we decided to take the train today instead of driving and um, it's actually lunchtime so we're gonna get some lunch and maybe do some shopping I don't know about the shopping part because to be honest with you like with the weather and it's like every time I come out here to do stuff it's raining like why is it raining okay today's just a really chill day like I said I only came out here to do a procedure so uh yeah let go Okay, so we're inside of the underground. Underground? Are we underground? No, we're in the build ninth floor. <laughs> we're in a building, okay, girl. I'm lost, okay. Um, so we were just sitting here, and this old guy came up to us and gave us two tickets, two free tickets to a flower show. So it's supposed to be like a Japanese. What do you call? Ikebana. Ikebana. It's Japanese flowers art. Okay, so we're gonna check it out before we go and get lunch, but we're just sitting here cooling off because it's super hot and it's rainy outside. So, plus it's lunchtime, but before that, before the rush hour, like after the rush, we're gonna wait for the rush hour to pass. So we're gonna go ahead and just check out this place. On this You understand? Now, apparently, this is supposed to be like the original dish for this area. Like, this is where it all started. I don't even know if that's correct, okay? Because let me tell you something. Whenever my husband tells you information, you have to Google that. <laughs> okay. You have to Google that, okay? But the dish in itself is originally from this area, okay? It's also in my area as well, and I love the dish. It's called miso katsu, and it's basically like deep fried pork or chicken with a sweet bean sauce, is the best way I can explain that. The line is long. The restaurant goes way down that side, like way down, okay? And the, the line, the end is right here. So we're looking for something else, okay? Because we can actually get this dish 
back like in our area so it's kind of like is it really worth lining up and waiting this long because we're gonna be sitting here for an extra hour it's just that this restaurant is supposed to be like super famous for this particular dish and the way that they cook it I don't know but um, <laughs> I've eaten it a million times I absolutely love it but anyways but I just I we're not gonna be sitting here waiting for one whole entire hour so I'm just taking a break because he's gonna walk around the whole entire thingamajiggy to see if we can find somewhere else to eat. We probably won't have this dish, but we're gonna find something to eat. So we found a restaurant. And we're gonna have tempura, shrimp, and vegetables. Still something fried, just a quick lunch. And then we're gonna head back home because it's just chaos out here with this. It's the heat, the weather, everything. So we're just waiting on the food. Look at all the trains. We will soon make a brief stop at Konomiya. The stop after Konomiya will be Ichinomiya. morning guys so it is the next day and today is going to be a work day I have some content that I need to film I'm just gonna handle that get that out of the way I'm shooting two wig videos I'm a little bit behind and the reason I'm behind is because of what I went and did yesterday so yesterday I went to Nagoya to get electrolysis I have been struggling with facial hair chin hair to be exact yes i have it too girl it was just time for it to go so living in japan the best option for me would be to do electrolysis because the lasers hair <laughs> they're for the light skin people okay they are not for people like me and you all right even though i've been to a few consultants where they were like you know let's try what me look like what me look like lab rat <laughs> Okay, it's either you have it or you don't have it. There's no let's try, all right? You see me, you see that I'm black, like, hello? What are we doing? I wonder the people here. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so, I opted to go for electrolysis because, well, <laughs> Girl, I'm tired, like, mm -mm, no more. Okay, you see my neck, the discoloration and stuff, not this. I squeeze a few pimples that are hormonal. Yeah, so, ooh, 
let me splash some water all over the place so i decided to go for electrolysis because one it is permanent okay once it is done correctly over a period of time the hair will never grow back so that's why i opted for this particular treatment now i do know that there are actual uh higher technology out there when it comes to lasers for dark skin and i just don't have that at my disposal so i'm doing electrolysis and the my doctor because i had to do it in a hospital as well like this is not at a beauty what you might call it like a beauty salon or anything like like this is an actual hospital because they consider it a somewhat surgical procedure like it's not to be played with so it's in a hospital and it took her, I want to say, 32 minutes exact to do the whole entire thing. So I don't have a lot of hair because 32 minutes, how they do it is 15 minutes. Every they, they charge by every 15 minutes. They charge 100 and something for every 15 minutes, okay? So after I was done, I paid 200, the equivalent of 200 and something dollars for my first process. Now my consultation when I went in, the first thing they did was, of course, analyze my face to see exactly how much time I was going to need. And like I said, it's not a lot, so I wasn't going to need a lot of time. Then she explained the process of the hair, the regrowth process, because hair has a regrowth process. It's not a one and done some of the hair will be killed right away, won't come back. But because of the regrowth process, you're going to need a few sessions. And most of the time it takes a year. But this is not a monthly thing, okay? You don't go back every single month. You don't go back as soon as the hair starts to grow back. Because after the first treatment, the hair is not going to grow back that quick, okay? It's going to take one to two months or I wanna say three weeks before you start to see any regrowth. And then the hair is gonna come back extremely thin. And I noticed because for my consultation, they also had to run a test. So she zapped like a few, I think like three hairs right here. I only had, I probably had like six in a little cluster right here. And she zapped like three and she did right here because most of the growth was right here. She did about three, as, three there as well. And those hairs, when it was time for me to go back, only one came out. So I was really happy about that. So I'm going to see, you know, you can see that it's beneficial. And it's been, I should have done this a long time ago, but it's been more than a month because I, cur I caught Corona when I was supposed to do it. So now that I'm full, fully healed and back to myself, you know, we went in yesterday to get it done. She gave me a topical steroid to use because when you do this, what they don't tell you is you're going to look like you have mosquito bites all over your face because it is a needle that is shooting electricity into the skin and it's burning down into the root, into the follicle of the hair, okay? Electricity burns, okay? <laughs> Lightning burns, all right? So electricity burns and it burns down into the follicle of the hair and you have like these little mosquito bites that's exactly what it looks like and those mosquito bite looks like the little bumps they don't go away right away okay it took me a good three weeks for me to see when she tested for me to see that it was actually going away light exfoliation it has been 24 hours so i can wear makeup now so that's why i'm choosing to work and i did this procedure on wednesday and i should have been worked i should have been done my work on monday but like i said and you have to make the hair grow out because if you don't make it grow out there's nothing for her to grab onto you get what i'm saying so i couldn't film monday and tuesday because i always shave and i feel like the shaving is just doing me in i used i've shaved all my life and that's the other thing with me like i cannot how long i've been washing my face girl <laughs> i cannot use razor like me and razor we are not friends okay because my legs my underarms are probably the only place that is not so bad but i have to use like an electric shaver like a men's electric shaver to do my legs to do anything on my body because i've tried it all i've tried every cream i've tried every exfoliant every razor so please don't even bother to tell me about no creams no ex don't do it don't do it i have lived and i have tried okay i have tried nothing works it just itches and i get a lot of bumps and uh, it's just no bueno so i don't really shave anymore but i've been shaving my face because hey who wants hair on their face like what so i want my makeup to be smooth and stuff and granted you can't really see it because it's all under hair like there's nothing up here 
which I'm grateful for. So it's all under here. So most of it was on my chin, a little bit in the center right here, and then just like sporadic ones, you know, sporadic ones, and they've been there for years. So it's just time to get rid of them. Like, I'm over it. <laughs> Okay, like I'm done. We're done, okay? So I'm doing something about it this year. And I won't see her for the next two months because the way this works as well, hold on. <laughs> so where did I leave off? The way that this works, I can't go back to her. Okay, the next thing that they don't tell you is the, sp the spaghetti. <laughs> the next thing they don't tell you is that the mosquito bites are hard rock hard like under here i have absolutely no feeling because of the burn like it is hard so i need to leave it let it heal let the regrowth process start you know for the hairs that want to come back and let it become soft but as you can tell you really can't tell that there's something wrong with my chin at least i hope no no no, no. maybe it's just me <laughs> okay maybe it's just me so she gave me this topical steroid and I'm supposed to use it while the hardness is there while that swelling is there and as soon as that is gone I shouldn't use it and if I develop like an ingrown which I am dreading because that can also happen especially for us black people okay that can also happen and that is one of the reasons why I'm prone to ingrown okay I am prone to ingrown so I am nervous but at the same time I'm just trusting the process because yes ingrown can be a pain and can cause more damage so that's one of the real reasons too that I haven't been putting any foundation on my neck and for the video and stuff whatever if you see it you see it I mean we're all imperfect but for like my pictures and stuff I always make sure my head is down the light is coming from above it creates a really nice shadow so all you see is my face and my neck you don't really see under here and I can edit out anything that I didn't capture like I didn't hide anything I didn't hide while <laughs> taking the picture oh that was a lot to explain but yeah so for now I can't really put any skincare on that area I can only put the steroid you know and just hope for the best but she got everything y'all she got everything so i'm really really grateful and i'm happy that it took 32 minutes because at first when she looked at me she was like it's probably gonna take like an hour <laughs> they charge a hundred and i want to say 112 dollars us for one for, for 50 minutes every 50 minutes one hour but girl, I was going to go through it. I was going to do it anyway. And we, she did it in 32 minutes. 32 minutes. And they time, they time themselves. Oh, pain level. Okay, so like I said, when you go in, you take the blood test. I'm sorry that this is all over the place. But I'm just, you know, I was talking and explaining it with, you know, what's, what's going on. Like how, you know. Anyways, girl, um, pain level. So they did the blood test. And then... Uh, make sure that I am, you know, a good candidate for it and everything. They check everything. They check your blood because they are using needles and your needle is your needle. You buy that needle, okay? The needle was $50. So you buy that needle and that is your needle and when you go back, she's going to continue to use that needle on you, okay? And I did this in Nagoya, by the way, because where I live is in the countryside and it's just no bueno, okay? Ain't nothing going on here, chap. Okay, and um... So after that, my, my thoughts are gone. She did get you by the needle. What was I gonna say? You chat too much. Ooh. Hey, getting old. Huh? What was I gonna say? Girl. I can't remember what we will say, but maybe it's this, okay? So, like I was saying, it's one of the reasons I haven't been putting any foundation under there because I just want my skin to heal more than cover it. I want my skin to heal down there. I want my neck area to be really, really pretty to the point where I really don't have to put foundation down there. So, I'm fighting for my life, child, okay? I am fighting for my life. Girl. Ooh, I don't know what I was going to say, child, okay? I felt like I had something important to say. Now, I don't know what it was. But anyway, I think I explained everything. Um, so, I won't see her for the next two months and if so during the year process I'll probably go six times you get what I'm saying until there's absolutely no more hair and the hair is going to grow back super thin like you can hardly see it it almost looks like peach fuzz like the six that she took out in the first time the first time I monitored that area and when I saw the hair growing back I was like is that the hair 
because I could barely see it, you know? So I'm really, really happy though because I'm super smooth apart from the bumps and stuff like that. So that's the pre procedure that I have done. I want to be transparent with you guys because like I said, if I ever get anything done, I'm going to tell y'all I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh, I, I woke up like this. No, I did not. No, I did not. Okay. Uh, because I'm going to be doing my makeup, I'm not going to do full skincare. Instead, I'm just going to do my sake water. The last time you saw this, it was way down here. I used it up because I use a lot of this stuff. This is another bottle. And it really is like an all-in-one. And it's super moisturizing. It is very oily, very sticky. Smells like sake, but it's so good on the skin. My skin absolutely love it. So... I can't really put any underneath my chin area, so I'm just going to do like my decollete area right here and the lower part of my neck because skincare, my dear, okay? And I'm using a cotton so it doesn't drip. Normally, I would just do this with my hand, but I'm going to saturate the cotton and just like wipe it around because I don't want it to drip down into the treated areas. Even though I can wear makeup and stuff like that, this has some sake in it and I don't want it to irritate because that is a steroid and that is good enough so how she explained to me you do the steroid you do your skincare try to avoid that area and then apply sunscreen everywhere because that's the next thing with this you cannot go into the sun you cannot be exposed to the sun at all she says the sun does a lot of damage for this particular procedure it's more uh, sensitive right now to any kind of UV rays so I'm staying inside <laughs> I'm staying inside and moving in the evening, okay? And that was one of the reasons I, I decided to go yesterday as well, even though the weather was horrible. Like, every time I want to go somewhere, the weather is just like, girl, don't you know you're supposed to stay home, okay? Because every time I go somewhere, it just starts raining. You make all these plans and it's just raining. Oh, my God. oh, stress in my left breast. But because, you know, it worked out in my favor because as soon as I was done with the procedure, you know, I would be able to get back on the train and come home without being exposed to too much sun. So, um, yeah, that's basically all I did and that's everything that I have to tell you right now about electrolysis. This is my first treatment, so I feel like I can't give you a lot of information on this particular topic because how? Okay, this is new to me as well. That was my day yesterday. That's why I went to Nagoya. Okay, so I am in my office slash office. <laughs> my handbag and shoes office well I do have some clothes in here too but I'm gonna be doing some editing today I am not a hundred percent right now yeah I'm not a hundred percent today I started my period well truth be told I started my period like two days ago but I was just spotting um, <laughs> and I think my, my first of all my period is five a whole week okay a whole week early and I think it's because I went and I did electrolysis like my body was just under so much stress and tension and I find that whenever my body is like that I get my period really really quick you know like if I'm constipated TMI but hey okay like if I'm constipated and I have to push like really put a lot of strain on my body my period comes right there and then TMI I know but hey Okay, so today is the official day that it started because like two days ago it was just spotting and two days ago I actually went and I got electrolysis done and so I did it Wednesday and then Thursday I filmed and today I am going to edit because, well one I need to edit. But yeah, so I was remembering, like, I was trying to remember, like, what was I trying to say to you while I was explaining certain things? And I wanted to talk about the, the pain threshold. So like I was saying, she takes your blood to make sure that, you know, everything is all good with you. And she will ask you if you want to do, like, numbing because she explains it's really painful. But if you want to do numbing... It's gonna be another test like they have to test your skin and that particular test I don't even know how that how that goes that might not be but anyway she just that might not can you finish your sentences like what's wrong with you so the test might not actually be like a skin test because I feel like they need to run it through the lab so it's probably blood work to see if you're allergic to anything in the actual numbing cream 
but she said it takes long that particular test takes long so when I had wanted to go and do this was let's say a whole month ago but like I said I caught corona so everything was delayed and I decided to go with the ice route so what she does is she has like these little packets of ice little small packets like really really small okay because it's just the area because I don't have a lot and as soon as you go in she wipes you down she acts you nicely don't wear no makeup when you come okay so I only wore lashes when I went and um, skincare you know sunscreen and stuff like that and she made sure that my skin was clean she disinfected the area wiped me down and then we start to numb right away and as she's doing one area like I'm holding the ice right here and once that time once I feel that it's numb she has me switch to another spot so while she's working on this area I'm numbing another area so by the time that she moves over and she doesn't do everything one time it's like a back and forth type of thing so the pain really wasn't that bad it was just really uncomfortable and once the numbness from the ice was wearing off like I started to feel like that heat and I would tense up and she'd be like okay you know and she'll stop the timer because yes she also timed times you she times the time of her actually working so once I'm numbing the area she doesn't time that she doesn't count that as a part of the actual whole entire procedure which I thought was really really cool so like I said everything was done within 32 minutes but yeah pain wise the pain is there but it's bearable because she allows me to numb the area with ice so I thought that that was really really cool so um, yeah that that is what I was trying to remember <laughs> that is what I was trying to remember to tell y'all okay because it's really extremely painful and so it's been two days after Two, two days since the treatment and um, I don't know if you can tell you know it's not that bad under there you can't really tell like you know it's not that bad under there right now uh, I can still feel like it feels like mosquito bites like I said but right here was where mo I had most of my hair and this just feels really tender today um, she did, like I said, she did give me steroids and stuff to like help with the area for it to like get better, like to speed up. Well, not speed up, but just to help aid with the process. It's not a numbing cream. It is not a painkiller or anything like that. It's just a steroid, so it it will fight like ingrowns and infections and stuff like that because it's tons of tiny deep holes. So right here feels really, um, you know, like when you have a scar. It feels like that like if you have a keloid you know it feels hard it really it feels really really hard and today it hurts like it just feels like even talking to you like you know talking to you and having my chin move like that it just feels really really painful and I feel like I'm feeling even more sensitive right now because I'm on my period so you know but I'm hoping for the best as you can tell the evening is getting into evening right now so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna edit a video that's what I'm gonna be doing for like the next hour or so Okay, so I'm done editing and well I'm not done I just need a break um, as you can tell it's a lot I do everything myself um, as you can tell the night is nighting <laughs> the night is nighting this period is perioding and I know I get a lot of questions but I always leave it in my description box I use Final Cut Pro and Photoshop to edit my my pictures 
um, yeah that's basically it and my computer is a Mac computer it's an Apple computer but I have it mirroring on top of an ASOS monitor which is this, uh, another ASOS monitor is also in my studio that was my first monitor that was out here but I got a new one um, this gives true color it is a professional grade monitor and I decided to go for this way instead of the actual Mac the the air mac like the mac because it has a glare this has no glare so i see everything true color and it just yeah I'm <laughs> the nerd in me okay your girl is a little techie okay she loves her gadgets but i will splurge on equipment camera lighting mic because i'm so deep into it now you know i've been doing it for so long and i want the best quality you know um i've studied for years self-taught a lot of trial and error but yeah like I just love the whole techie part the editing like you know like all of it that's why I play with so many backgrounds as well because I get bored like there's no way I can just sit there you know like it's a whole picture like a music video you think music like when I see a music video and I see the colors and I see the backgrounds like oh I want to mimic that you know so um yeah but it is time i'm gonna check hubby and see what's for dinner and god no me hope say no steam vegetable because your girl no one know steam vegetable tonight you hear me my husband loves steam vegetables you hear me he can eat the same dish every single night straight no problem food is not comfort to him <laughs> i need to get on his level okay like for me it is comfort okay when i'm craving certain things i need my certain things okay but he's cooking tonight and i'm on my period <laughs> so you know how that go Okay, so we're gonna go for a little nighttime stroll. And I also bought this vest the other day. What, two days ago? Yeah. Two days ago, and it came. This is a workout vest, and I got it in 10 kilos. It's a walking vest. I'm not gonna wear it today because I'm just, I'm, I don't have the energy for it. Okay, I already explained to y'all. I'm on my period, like, it's not, <laughs> okay. But I got a workout vest, y'all. And when I tell you this thing is heavy, and I said, you know, I know what 10 kilos feels like because, you know, Barkley was 11 kilos. It's not that bad once you get it on, but it's heavy, okay? All this does is trick the body into thinking that it's heavier than it is, which will help you lose, like burn more calorie, that way you lose more weight. It's really, really heavy, but I'm not gonna be wearing this tonight, like, no. That's not the vibe. <laughs> Anyways, girl, let's go. So we're out on this walk and we are like we're walking through like an old neighborhood, like a vintage Japanese neighborhood. So a lot of the places here are very historical. It's right beside the river. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm sorry that you guys can't really see it right now because it's dark as night, you know. But it's also like a tourist attraction, this area as well. There's restaurants. Yeah, much better. So I had to turn off the lights because of bugs, girl. <laughs> But like, you know, in front of these like 
old buildings and stuff is so so beautiful it's literal it's giving samurai this is giving samurai like you know it's so beautiful it's so calming it is a little bit busy right now because like I said it's like restaurants and they also have like some inn you know like you can come and you can sleep and stuff like that really close to where I live all of Japan is historical but like where I live we have a samurai castle you know like we have everything here you know it is so so pretty and it's a good time I like to you know just walk and declutter my mind empty my mind think about where it is that I live because I know it is a unique situation I also think about home a lot as well because I'm like man I came a long way like I'm so far away from home I never in a million years, never, ever, ever, ever did I think I would live in Japan. Like, Japan wasn't even on the radar. Like, what? Japan wasn't even a thought. But child, I went to Jamaica and met this Japanese man and here I am. Mm. Life is funny like that. You make plans for one thing and life does a whole complete 360 on you and takes you in another direction. Anyways, it's really, really beautiful like all the old homes and you know like it's just so both sides of the streets are like this you're just seeing one side right now but it's really really nice and it's a good time to just come and get a stroll and just walk you know it's really pretty but um yeah after this i think i'm just gonna head home take a shower because it's still really really warm and call it a night like I'm over it